Spartans! What is your profession? I'm gonna tell you a story that you probably don't know about Kobe Bryant. You see, Kobe was a young kid coming right out of high school, right? The first guard to ever make the jump. You know that he wanted the challenge, the ultimate form of competition, the NBA. But something you don't know about him? He passed up the movie role with Spike Lee, He Got Game, that eventually went to Ray Allen. You see, he was totally focused on one goal. His mind was on one place only. All he wanted was a basketball in his hands and to train in the gym. No extracurriculars. Laser beam focus. You need it. He didn't want people to think that he wasn't taking the game seriously and that all ties together because it's about mentality. You walk like a king, you act like a king, and you'll get treated like one because it's a domino effect. When your mind is focused, everything comes to you. The more you're focused, that's when you start paying attention to detail. You make sure your foot is in the right place. Plays develop in your mind before they happen. You anticipate the past. You're ready for everything. Go ahead and tell me one player in the league that's hungrier than him on a consistent basis. And consistency is what builds greatness. Step after step. It takes brick by brick floor by floor, building by building, to build a city. But you need each brick, you need each one. 16-time All-Star, five NBA championships, 12-time All-Defensive Team. It starts with your very first practice. And Kobe is a guy who understands how critical each possession is. And if you are a person that understands that every minute you have is crucial, you're gonna go places. You have opportunity at every corner, but whatever you don't accomplish today is wasted. Bye-bye, gone, no more. You can never get today back. So if you don't do it today, you need to start on something that you could have been finished with tomorrow. One day missed takes you one day longer to get better. And the margin for error is so tiny in life. That's why Kobe practices dribbling the way that he does. His footwork, that's why he works on that same jump shot over and over and over. He practices the same play with his teammates over and over. He gets in the same position time and time again. Repetition, because when it's game time, and that defender throws your hand off by a few inches, you can still drain it. Oaks grow strong in wind. That's called grit, to get it done even when the circumstances are stacked against you. The double team, the schemes against him, they couldn't stop him because he already thought of it beforehand. That preparation, that level of drive, that desire, you can't teach that in textbooks or classes. That finds you from within, from struggle, from pain. Do you think that talent is separating guys at that level? Kobe Bryant lets his pain be his fuel. And when everyone else counted him out and said his wings were because of someone else, I'm gonna read you his stats in the finals without Shaq. A series average of 32.4 points 7.4 assists, 5.6 rebounds, 1.4 steals, and 1.4 blocks. And you want to say that he's not an all-around player? You want to pose that? Really? Champions show up in the biggest of moments. You see, there's two things you could do when there's pressure. You see, pressure busts a pipe but it is also used to create diamonds. Are you hearing me? Game seven, 13 points down, six for 24 shooting. Are you going to be the person to get 15 rebounds and play raw defense to win the game? 
champions find a way to make it happen even when they're tired or they're completely spent or something's not going right when they have nothing left in the tank they will make it happen and find a way this is a guy that showed us that gold was important again that it still mattered that's called pride and if you carry that with you wherever you are you're gonna move the world because you'll find a way because it's the person who's willing to die who's gonna win that battle it's the person who's willing to do all the small things who's gonna win that inch legends are born from pride he showed us how inspirational a pair of free throws could be No one comes into the league with respect. He earned everybody's. And at 35, he is still trucking. And even after a surgery, they're gonna act like he's never done this before. The last second shot, let me ask you a question. When the game's on the line, who do you want the ball in the hands of? The king of the comeback. For the win, he's got it! The Lakers win! He's going to go. A couple of left-handed dribbles. Has a look at it. Oh! The Lakers win! Bryant for three. Two seconds. One second. Kobe Pumpe. Kobe for the win! Kobe the dagger! Kobe's got it near midcourt. Five seconds remaining. Gets it to Bryant. Bryant dribbling. Has to put it up with the buzzer. Banks it in. Going up on the bell. Ball away. Yes. Yes. He does it. Was there ever a doubt? Cody will get it for the win. He is hard to believe. And they think that this is going to keep him down? <laughs> okay. This is why we watch it. This is why we have grown to love him. That fire consumes him every year, every game, every practice, every film study, every workout, every second. It's basketball always on his mind. And mark my word, five is not enough for him. Kobe Bean Bryant, how are we going to remember your name?